Reporting to you live here from Astrofield for Eliza's 20th birthday. It's live from last week. Episode 194. Let's go! Welcoming my fellow Jaywalkers to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on, I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So after being successful in getting some decent sleep last night, after being unsuccessful with many of my sleep patterns from last week, and saying farewell to the wife as she goes off to her trip to the Philippines yesterday afternoon, recalling this scene as it was used for mommy puss birthday I had nobody telling me I wasn't allowed to celebrate by eating some birthday cake for breakfast this morning and another thing to celebrate today just like I've done in the past with many friends and family members posting about their young ones going back after their summer vacation with it being the first day of school I did my yearly first day of school pick earlier this afternoon. But yeah, going back to what I had planned last night. But anyways, today I think I'm just going to go back home to the condo to try to rest up or maybe do something spontaneous with the mini doggy 2.0 perhaps. Guess who may have bought a new gift for the mini 2.0 in the form of a new roof rack. So, spending the majority of the evening in the bluffs area last night, trying to put together this roof rack with my limited hands-on experience and skills, check out who was able to install this brand new roof rack on the Mini 2.0 last night before it got dark. But guys, this morning as I was taking the car out for a spin and hearing a whistling noise coming from the top of my car where the new roof rack was installed. I went back to the bluffs area to try to fix this issue by installing some gap fillers in the roof rack gaps in hopes that the noises would subside. And although the noises didn't go away completely, it's definitely a lot better than it was before. But now, going back to the topic that the wife is now at home to supervise my daily activities, driving around the city solo with the Mini today, guess who is feeling free to travel around to do some Facebook Marketplace purchases in her absence. So going back to my Facebook Marketplace adventures from last night, I first headed up to Markham to pick up a snowboarding attachment set for the Mini's new roof rack, then up to the new market area to get a set of Mini Cooper snow tires and rims for the winter, then back down the 404 to North York for the wife to potentially get mad at me again to try out and buy another Oktoberfest piggyback costume before spontaneously going downtown to see if I can score a couple of last minute tickets to the Usher concert of which when I last looked were still out of my price range. So after making my way back home to the condo without any Usher tickets to do my Duolingo achieving a 2650 day Duolingo streak after a whole lot of driving and traveling all I got was a quick five and a half hour sleep at night. And this was the day after I traveled all the way to Brampton to pick up that mini roof rack that I recently installed. 
Now on to today, where the topic of the wife not being around to continually check up on my recent shopping habits, inspired by things that we did just last week. I went to a local top bin shop, buying for only four bucks this new scoreboard for one of my indoor volleyball friends, Joanne. As a gift, as that indoor volleyball season is set to once again start up soon. Then drive the Mini Cooper back to this crazy bin store where this time the lineups were long and the store was pretty packed. But after losing a little bit of my sense of time here and trying out some banana suits that were lying around in the store, as well as finding several nice treasures in the bins here, I came away with this nice mini haul, with my total bill being less than seven bucks. And after getting all these gifts for the new Mini Cooper here, which had included these tire valve covers, which were actually branded from the Genesis car brand and not the Mini Cooper brand, what a mistake. I got some of these cup holder coasters, these nice little cute Hello Kitty ones as a surprise for the wife. As well as an item that you guys can remember that I got quite a while back. I got this new champagne gun for only a buck that I got home and cleaned and was happy that it was functional and ready to be utilized at future parties. But yeah, going back to yesterday's first day of school picture that I took and posted on social media, one of my friends did correct me that I displayed the wrong number on the board. So to avoid this problem for next year, I went to the bedroom to sort out all my numbers and letters that I had and made the appropriate corrections for my first day of school picture for 2025. There you go, Jess. Fixed it for next year. But by the way, after feeling a little bit hungry and doing one last Facebook Marketplace purchase in Scarborough, a car cigarette lighter adapter for only five bucks, we got on the Too Good To Go app, went to, once again, our local Tagbuan on Kennedy, and got a couple of dinner orders to wrap up this busy day. So after almost getting six hours of sleep last night, still being on my Facebook Marketplace binge, I checked online and saw that a potential motorcycle helmet was available. So after making the purchase, I drove around Scarborough either looking like a professional race car driver or just an astronaut who lost his way on Earth while driving around in a Mini Cooper. The next guy's recalling the last time I went to the dentist several months back. Well, today, it was time for my sixth month semi-annual dental cleaning this afternoon, where I also got some dental fillings. If you guys couldn't already tell, then try to stressfully complete the editing of my Live From Last Week episode 193 for tomorrow morning's release before I go in for my first of my scheduled two night shifts tonight. Oh man, with another busy shift at the hospital, where four of the five experienced staff, including me, stayed up until almost 8 a.m. trying to finish their work. My commute home from the hospital, unfortunately, wasn't the most driest commute I've ever had, to say the least. And today, after getting a solid 63-minute post-shift sleep, in addition to this notice from the building's management and the air conditioning at the condo being inoperational over the past several days, I'm just hoping that I can at least get a little bit of a nap in 
before going in for probably yet another busy night shift, my second one in as many nights, later on, tonight. So having the same reaction that I had 24 hours prior, getting out at 8 a.m. after another busy night shift, I took consolation in the fact that I had an exciting morning in store. So driving post shift in this beautiful weather that we had, on my way to yet another Facebook Marketplace purchase, I bought this heads up unit display for the Mini Cooper, which had greatly impressed and surprised me when I saw it in person. With it being my first time using it, and actually really correlating well with the speedometer that's on the Mini's dashboard. Next up, after receiving this email recently, and going to this location for the first time in a long while, I had parked the Mini Cooper in this parking lot, attracted by this displayed sign that was outside and went into Ikea with all of these long lineups to get their promotion of the day this free Ikea breakfast. I mean like although it was a 20 minute wait, I definitely thought that everything tastes better especially when it's free. Anyways, getting back home, but not being able to sleep post night shift because I was busy browsing on my phone. Being excited researching about a bucket list thing that I've always wanted to do. Like driving a car on an actual racetrack sometime in the future. After seeing this online promo deal, I picked up some Papa John's pizza for a potluck going to Scarborough's Thompson Park for the annual Circulo Ilongo summer picnic with many titos and titas that I haven't seen in a long while as well as meeting up with both Tito Eddie Cheers dad! Cheers. As well as Tita Mune to cheers with them the pizza that I brought and guys, did I mention seeing this special guest, of whom I haven't seen in the longest time, who is none other but the one, the only, the nephew Gabby. Oh, there's only a couple slices left. Go, oh, get no. one, get one. I'm already full. Okay, you're lost. Oh. Cheers, Gabby. Cheers. And oh. go like this. Wrap your arm like this and then we eat. <laughs> then after seeing this new film studio set at a house in a nearby neighborhood earlier, I went to the St. Teresa's Parish Shrine of the Little Flower Church for Saturday Vigil Catholic Mass before thinking about coming back here to the condo to try to catch up on some lost sleep. Before we let you guys go for the night, we just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my bubbly cousins out there who you guys know we attended their debut a couple years back and who I can't wait to see tomorrow for their birthday party. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Eliza. Happy birthday, Eliza. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So before telling you guys about today, let's just go back to the parking lot at the beach for the birthday greetings of the day. I just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends who I've known since all the way from our Mother Teresa days. This birthday shout out goes out to you Derek. Happy birthday Derek. And we've got another birthday greeting to one of my cousins out there who you guys know as the one and only and Doi, this birthday shout out goes out to you, Andrew. Happy birthday, Andoy. I'm hoping that everybody has their birthdays today, are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. 
So, continuing on, feeling exhausted after waking up at around 5 o'clock after only 5 hours of sleep. Even, as you guys can see here, before the time of the sunrise, I decided to use my time being productive, doing some scrubs laundry, a little bit of vacuuming in the living room, and even doing some watering of the wife's plants while she's away for her vacation. Then, doing one of my New Year's resolutions that I've been keeping up with over the past several months. I found myself back at Ashbridge's Bay today to do my monthly beach volleyball session, this time in the month of September. And guys, after a fun beach volleyball session today, where I had this action photo taken by my friend Andre here, and where I think I just might have injured my wrist on this play. Just like I did almost 24 hours prior, I was back at the exact same Papa John's to pick up some pizza before going to my Atisha's up in Richmond Hill with the wife here attending from the Philippines virtually having this feast with the family here for Atisha's birthday celebration and afterwards having the activity of playing with the bubble guns that the nephew Blueberry had Chilling on the balcony, having fun blowing bubbles in the wind here. The wind is epic. We got my Atisha to open up my birthday gift just for her. You can, yeah, 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 just twist and pull like slightly. Popping by herself her first ever bottle of bubbly. You got this, Ate! Keep your head. Yay! Happy birthday! <laughs> then, cheersing to this occasion with this special edition alcohol free bubbly, I was unfortunately double booked and had to leave for yet another birthday party. So, recalling this scene when the little sister was still in town, and to what I said just yesterday we just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my bubbly cousins out there who i can't wait to see tomorrow for their birthday party i made my way all the way to east scarborough to visit my cousin eliza for her 20th birthday oh my goodness hold that okay now close your eyes okay on the count of three i want you to open your eyes okay okay one two three <laughs> Happy birthday, Liza! 
as well as surprising her and her many guests with the bubble gun that I had brought. Happy oh, birthday, no. Liza! <laughs> 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 Did you see what I brought? Oh, yeah. I'm <laughs> of course I'm behind them. Uh, it's gonna run out. Good thing I'm wearing glasses. Whoa. Oh, my eyes. My glasses did nothing. The glasses do nothing. <laughs> and after my niece and nephew got carried away with my bubble gun that I had here. Don't shoot at my face. I didn't shoot at your face. <laughs> no, my eye hurts, yo. It's like stinging. What the heck? Ah, what the fuck? Oh. And having more fun spending time with the family. I'm back at home at the condo in Scarborough to try to rest up for another busy day set for tomorrow. Thinking I could get a decent rest last night. Waking up once again after only a four hour sleep. Way before the time of the sunrise. I decided to work on some of my live from last week videos in the dark until it was bright enough to watch some Canadian Paralympic sitting volleyball action before remembering that our Google Home had this problem for the past couple of weeks. Hey Google. Your Google Home isn't set up yet. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Let's try that again. Hey Google. Are you working? Your Google Home isn't set up yet. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Of which, guys, I'm hopeful that I'll get this problem solved for both the wife and I before she comes back home from her trip to the Philippines. Anyways, after finally figuring out how to fit the Mini's winter tires into the already jam-packed locker, I had kidnapped my niece to take her on her first ever mini carpool 2.0. Yo, first time in the mini carpool 2.0, the niece. What? <laughs> I'm not that loud. You're so loud. Before I took her to Wendy's during her lunch break. He kidnapped me. I kidnapped her. He kidnapped me. Send help before doing a YouTube box opening video with her and our Wendy's Kids Meals. This is so cool. Wait, I never had this growing up. What the heck? What's this one? Red orange. Oh, I can color. <laughs> and, and your crayons, you have crayons, right? Oh. Unboxing. 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 <laughs> Next unboxing video, guys. Then, after dropping her back at school to catch her afternoon classes, I picked up this guy for his first ever mini carpool 2.0. Surprising at his condo, the one, the only, Cammy Sue. <laughs> that was a trip. That was a trip. Hi. What's going on? Yo, you do like my Cammy Sue outfit? Oh my gosh. That's oh, that's what you meant. What is this? Woo! It's my valve for the NOS. Oh, it's on tight right now. Oh my god. Then after doing our hangout ritual of going to the morning cafe at Midland and Finch and cheersing to our usual jumbo 
bubble tea. I brought Cammy to a local park to take a look at the mini and get his approval for the newest car purchase that we had made. Then afterwards, getting the six pack with a nice free burger coupon on it, I met up with a couple that I haven't seen since the Rendezvous Craft Beer Festival. Meeting up with my former co-worker, Rob, and his wife, Sam. Look at these guys, newlyweds. <laughs> to line up and get the Blue Jays giveaway for this evening's baseball game. The Toronto Blue Jays City Connect sleeveless hoodie promo that we, of course, proudly had represented before going to the J shop to buy some new Blue Jays hats. Then after watching the baseball action on the field, where the roof had opened halfway during the game, we enjoyed a couple of treats at our seats to supplement the action that we saw on the field. And now, making my way from Union Station after a very productive day slash night, we'll just wrap up this week's Laugh From Last Week episode right here. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jaywalker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there. And we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.